the most forgotten Yu-Gi-Oh card comes in that no one knows. Act you wait you brand of fusion, you want a Lubellion? Negate. I played some pendulum cards in my day. I played many different pendulum cards that no one even knows. But I'm gonna show you guys a pendulum card that literally nobody knows and is gonna win me the game. This pendulum card is gonna be the MVP and no one knows it. So what is it? You take some guesses right now in the chat. No cheaters! Take some guesses. What pendulum card could I possibly be thinking of? And no, it's not Electromite, despite the fact Electromite is a pendulum, without question. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a pendulum card that no one knows, and it's actually gonna carrying me on its back to victory so if you're new to the channel make sure to smash the subscribe button i'm going to show you why pendulums are the best deck in the planet and why this card if you play this style of pendulum deck needs to be in your deck let's get straight into this video but before we do make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button and comment below if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh master duel also i really like how my beard looks <laughs> so you should too so make sure to join the channel memberships below and check out shriftgaming.com link in the description below to get check the best play mats and deck boxes in Yu-Gi-Oh history all right let's get straight into the video the best pendulum card that no one knows let's go the best pendulum card that no one knows let's see if you guys can guess it i don't think you guys can let's go i'll explain what card that is at the end of the video let's go so if you guys are instantly gonna see my hand you're gonna be like trip what the what are you cooking bro <laughs> yeah boy that's right. I'm playing Endymion, DD, Magician. That's right, guys. I'm playing DD, Magician, and Endymion for this video. And I know you guys want to probably want to see the deck list. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll show you guys this deck list. I absolutely love the deck. And it's a massive DD engine. We're talking about Slimes, Copernicus. We're playing a bunch of DD fusions. The deck is insane and it just plays through interruptions so well. If you guys want to see a deck list? Uh, let's get the video to 1,000 likes. All right, let's go to now to the pendulum card that no one knows. That's going to absolutely save us this game. It's going to be absurd. Now, this deck's insane. It plays through hand traps like nothing and opens up so many more plays. This deck's abs absurd. He's going to see exactly now what's going to happen in this game. And what happens? My opponent Max sees me. But guess what? I'm going to take the challenge. <laughs> I'm going to take the challenge. I'm going to be like, you know, screw it. You might have Maxi. Yeah, you're going to draw like five cards. I'm going to put up as many negates as possible while making sure he draws as few cards as humanly possible. So I could put up more negates than I actually do. I'm just trying to put up as little like summons as humanly possible while still putting up as many negates as humanly possible. Like the best middle ground of draw versus negates. Draw versus interruptions. Like how many draws am I going to give him for interruptions? I'm going to do I'm going to do that. Screw it. I'm playing the best deck. I don't even care. So I'm going to go into Allures. I'm going to draw a bunch. The Servant came super late, but I'm like, whatever. Who cares? I'm going to abduct Dr. Sister Jackal, which is a very good like way to get myself uh, some some negates that don't uh, get him to draw a lot. It's by pending cards like Jackal and Mighty Master. I'm faced with a decision right there with that Allure. Is, am I going to go into Electromite? I make the decision. I'm like, sorry, Mighty Master. I'm going straight to Electromite right now. Uh, so it's going to hurt a bit like he's going to draw a lot, but my overall N plus will be so much higher by doing this. I send a Lamia, so I have a great follow up at any time I want to summon it. I use the Electromite to send DD Griffin. Next, I'm going to use Abductor to pop and add Griffin. Keep in mind that I already used the effect of Abductor to search Jackal. I'm doing this so I could free up my, my scale to low scale little servant. And one Duelist Alliance, if you think about this, Duelist Alliance gets one. This is why Pen Call and Magician are so good with Electromite. Is you could get you could basically search your servant. And if you hard draw Duelist Alliance, Duelist Alliance is one spell. Pen Call is spell number two. Magician Scale is spell number three, triggering your servant of Endymion. So I got the resolve of Doctor and Servant. I draw off Electromite, he's gonna ash it. His mindset is like, what else am I gonna ash? Well, my friend, you should have been a little more patient. I had a Duelist Alliance waiting for you there and a Servant. So you're going to go to Duelist Alliance. I'm going to go Pen Call the Griffin. I'm setting up my Griffin for next turn because I'm going to be able to summon it from the graveyard with a few ways. I'm then going to scale my Double Iris. I don't want to go for Harmonizing Magician because then he'll actually be drawing like the most draws humanly possible. At this point, I summon Janky Jackal Copernicus, which this card just busted, Servant of Endymion, and now... I'm going to go into Apollosa for three to trigger my Servant of Endymion. Now, is this the best board ever? No, but it's going to end up with my opponent. He has Max and Ash, uh, but at least it's a respectable board. And he didn't draw that many times. I know he has nine cards in hand and Ash, and he's playing Tier Limit. So it's looking bad. He's playing Tier Limit, nine cards in hand. He instantly uses Foolish. I'm going to have to negate the Shire in with Apollosa, no doubt about it. And he's going to chain Brandon and I Spirits, which... I have an option to negate it, but I'm like, I'm just going to have to let that go. And then uh, he, he searches for Alabaz, so he's playing Tier Limit, Tier Limit Branded. And then on the effect of Murley, I also negate that with Apollosa. So instantly off the bat, if you look at this, two Tier Limits is already negated through Apollosa. 
So this just goes to show that look, you're gonna let your opponent draw a bit, but Apeloza is putting in serious work right now. All he has left is one halfness, and we win the game. Next, he's gonna go into Keldo, send Kel back. Of course. Well, what can you do to this shit? I have an option to Apeloza, but I'm like, yo, I literally just need to jackal this. There's only halfness left. I need to get Keldo out of his hand because he could just normal summon and attack Apeloza. So I'm gonna go jackal to destroy the Keldo, and then I just have to hope that if he gets lucky, if he's the luckiest human being in the world and sends halfness somehow with uh, his mill five i just negate it with apo so that's what i'm thinking i could also just negate the mill five with apo if i would like let him resolve it because there's no way he's that lucky and not only is he that lucky to send the fucking halfness when it's the only tier limit he has left in his deck to resolve but he also chain blocks it with Saliak. seriously what what could you do seriously what what could you do as a human being to be so lucky dude luckiest human being in the world whatever it's not over yet thanks to muddy master i'm gonna negate the Saliak. my reasoning behind negating the Saliak. what else am i gonna negate he would have used pearl arena already and i'm like what else am i gonna negate bro whatever just let it have some value so i negate it he goes straight into collado heart the reason why i went collado heart instead of kakalos is that he already used all tier limit effects so apelosa put in hard work there to negate every single tier limit effect so we're in a decent situation in the fact that he just doesn't have any more tier limits so he didn't want to go to kikalos i'm gonna negate the effect of that to save my follow-up i'm very concerned with my follow-up i have a high scale of a low scale if he attacks into mighty master i get an effect i have a search from contract and i have lamia and grave for next turn and a griffin dd griffin where i can summon back you know a multitude of ways to get an effect off we're okay he used all the tier limits what's gonna happen then he goes into fallen of albaz how lucky could could a human being be bro he gets rid of that so he can go mirror jade right away and on top of that he's and he's gonna mirror jade banish to that mighty master and he's gonna go to brand infusion but he can't win this game now i use my mighty master for like the worst value Saliak ever he's gonna go brand infusion now but that's where the most forgotten Yu-Gi-Oh card comes in that no one knows act the way you brand infusion you want a lubelion negate with janky magician no one knows what this card does. It, I just s threw it in there so that he played right into my trap. I felt like an anime character, bro. He wasted all of that. Nice Mirror Jade. Your deck sucks. Nice Brute Tier Limit Kalado. Nice Luckiest Mills in human history. I got rid of all your Tier Limits. Nice nine cards in your hand. Nice, nice Fallen of Albaz. Nice deck, bro. You, you wasted all that. No cards in end. Lubelion. Negate with Janky Magician. It's a quick effect negate that negates any light monster. So Branded is cooked. Let's go. And I negate the shit out of it. And guess what? He already mirror jaded. He already mirror jaded to get rid of Mighty Master. And I'm going to survive. And guess what? We played that turn to make sure our follow-up was, was nuts. What's our follow-up? We have a Lamia in Graveyard that could summon any time. We have a contract that could get anything we want from the deck. We play so many options. And we have a griffin we get summon at any time we have a low scale and a high scale i already use mirror jade he doesn't play real branded that says brandon in red he just searches follow-up he literally has one interruption and that's keldo so the keldo is gonna be able to put back my dds but i have scales and i have contract so what am i gonna draw will the pen gods of the world will myself bless my hand small world no small world is utterly and literally useless right now but all glory to the man above god our creator because he is the greatest god is the best god is the greatest what am i gonna do a contract and get copernicus instantly off the bat i know what he has in his graveyard so i'm gonna use lamia right here right now instantly to bait the keldo good keldo's out of the way i know he has brand infusion follow-up he already used the fact of mirror jade all i gotta do now is just destroy he's out of interrupt just kill him so what am i gonna end up doing here i'm gonna let him use it no problem put back whatever you want copernicus is it gonna send swirl slime i know i'm cooking the fucking goo and swirl slime because he left griffin in grave it's not gonna be able to fusion summon and i don't need to use my small world to go into flame genghis and that's when the scoop comes in pen best deck baby i would have gone into beyond the pendulum we got a high scale pendulum two underneath it i would have got got harmonizing magician will be on the pendulum pen two underneath it effect pop both your cards keep mirror jade i would have five, pen five harmonizing summon two Celine axis code vortex dg what a comeback the pendulum card that no one knows janky magician came and saved the day now if you guys want to see this deck profile i'd love to show it to you i'd love to show it to you but we'll save that for a later video if the video gets 1000 likes so smash the subscribe button smash the like button Edie and Demian magicians are 
fucking insane. It literally was the scoop. Oh, what a, what a, what a duel. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys next video. Peace.